Okay, now let's talk about planes. And what we're, uh, the first thing to note is that we'll need two pieces of information to determine the equation of a plane in 3D space. So the first thing you need is a point. So you need a point that is in the plane. And then the second thing you need is a normal vector. So this n right here is referring to normal, uh, a vector that is orthogonal to the plane. And another word for orthogonal is perpendicular, right? And we have a requirement. We have an easy way to tell if two vectors are orthogonal. Their dot product should be equal to zero, okay? So the idea, just looking at this picture here, is you've got a point in the, pl point in the plane, P, okay? And now, if I know the, a vector that is orthogonal to the plane, now I'm able to describe all of the points in the plane. Okay, so this orthogonal vector n is called a normal vector, yes. Okay, so this little picture, um, I think this is really helpful. So this picture here is going to describe what's happening. So P is just an arbitrary point in the plane. And according to um, oh man, I think I was wrong from before. Remember when I said a point P naught? The point P naught is going to be the point P naught is going to be right here. Does that make sense? So sorry about that. Okay. So now what we're saying is we're saying that suppose you so you start off with your point P naught. So you've got P naught, which is in the plane, and you've got your normal vector. Now, if you take any other point in the plane, P, we now have two position vectors. So we've got R naught, that goes from the origin to P naught, and we've got R that goes from the origin to P, okay? And the difference between R and R naught, so this is gonna give us a brand new vector here, is r minus r naught, and that can be represented as the vector that starts at p naught and ends at p. Okay. Now, since the normal vector is orthogonal to every vector in the plane, our normal vector has to be orthogonal to r, r minus r naught. So looking at this diagram here, what we have is we've got our normal vector n, and then we've got this displacement vector, which is in the plane, okay? So n dotted with, with the vector that starts at p and ends at p naught should be equal to zero. You got it, okay? But we're gonna be able to determine the, write out some coordinates for this vector here, p naught and p. Okay, and we can go ahead and get started to there. Yeah, thus we have n dotted with r minus r naught is equal to zero. Now, this can also be written, how did we get that? Well, these are our properties of that product, remember? So this is gonna be the same thing as n dotted with r minus n dotted with r naught equals zero. And now we can just add, so we get n dotted with r is equal to n dotted with r naught. Okay, so that's just properties of multiplying. And this is the vector equation of the plane. So this is one version, excuse me here. And this is another version. So this is our equation five, and this is equation six. So here, R naught is given, so known. R naught is known and n is known. And what's unknown, r. Okay, so it's called the vector equation. And now, similarly as we did with the lines, we can um, come up with scalar equations. So a scalar equation for the plane, we write as follows. So suppose you know you have coordinates for your normal vector n, and this is your unknown. 
r okay and you've got coordinates for that position vector r not then we can just rewrite our vector equation uh, which is going to give us this is n dotted with r minus r naught equals zero okay and what do we get when we dot this well we are going to multiply component wise so we'll have a times x minus x naught plus b times y minus y naught plus c times z minus z naught equals zero okay so this is equation seven okay and here again your known i'll put a little dot over everything that's known so you know a you know x naught you know b you know y naught you know z sorry just kidding you know c and you know z naught and you don't know x, you don't know y, you don't know z. Okay? And the key is that this normal vector, this vector is normal to every, normal to the plane. So the dot product of ABC with every vector in the plane is equal to zero. So that's how we get that equation. Okay.